This is an ultrasound examination of the abdominal aorta. This first image is a longitudinal scanning plane of the proximal aorta and it has been measured in AP dimension. The measurement 3.67 centimeters may be slightly inflated due to the misplacement of this caliper. In transverse, the proximal aorta measures 4.24 centimeters. Again, it may be mildly overestimated by caliper position, but this is definitely greater than 3 centimeters. The mid portion of the aorta was not visualized in longitudinal imaging due to overlying bowel gas. The same was true for the transverse imaging attempt. Transverse imaging of the distal aorta demonstrated a echogenic flap uh, at some distance from the arterial wall of the aorta. The longitudinal image again demonstrates the flap. The AP measurement is 3.24 centimeters. Another image of the distal aorta demonstrating this linear, smooth appearing echogenic flap. This raises the possibility that there is an animal thickening. I'm sorry, uh, an animal dissection occurring in this portion of the aorta. Pulse Doppler indicates a rather diminished velocity of flow in the aorta. The uh, flow is away from the trans, or is toward the transducer, and thus is on top of the line. There is considerable turbulence here and uh, appears to be some reverse flow in a few areas and this is abnormal for the proximal aorta. The distal aorta was also interrogated with pulse Doppler and a monophasic turbulent signal was obtained. There is no evidence of reverse flow in this portion of the aorta which is highly abnormal. This is an abbreviated ultrasound study due to the body habitus of the patient. There is a possibility of a aortic dissection as evidenced by a echogenic smooth flap. Alternatively, this flap could represent the surface of anterior thrombosis within the lumen of the aorta. Additional tests would be required to clarify this.